Kendra, you're timing out some rain for us. Well, we'll have some afternoon showers and storms today, but a lot of people keep asking, you know, what is the deal with the tropics? Because we have this wave, which by the weekend really has the potential to be at least near Florida. So it looks very unorganized this morning. It's continuing to move to the west near the Leeward Islands still, but by Friday night, it's somewhere between Cuba and the southern Bahamas. And most of the state is in this huge sort of swath of uncertainty. There are so many things guiding this. So bottom line, there's a 60% chance of development over the next seven days, not much the next couple of days. But as we get into about Friday, Saturday and the weekend, we'll have a better handle on where it's going to go anywhere from the Gulf of Mexico to over Florida to well east of us, which would put us on the better side. Could be a depression. The next name on the list, though, Tropical Storm Debbie. So we're watching that shower potential, as is the case, you know, every afternoon, uh, scattered showers and storms each afternoon. We'll see that again today. Uh, not going to put it at the impact level, though it will impact you. We just have a little feedback on the radar this morning. Temperatures in the upper 70s from Vero through Port St. Lucie down into West Palm. And it looks like our highs today, 89 to 92 degrees. Impact just for your day planner would be coming in from about noontime throughout the afternoon with the potential for those storms to kind of just affect you a little bit. So that's what's going on today. Pretty typical weather pattern, but some changes on the horizon. And I'll get into that in a little bit. Sandra.